Hello everyone, welcome to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use external events to get the player to touch the door and then go into this scene here. So I'm showing this grid just by going up here and clicking on show grid and that will show and hide the grid. You can change what the grid looks like and what size there is with this. So all I've got here is just a platformer character you can jump and uh, and a floor and a badly drawn door which does nothing at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this Z order 1 just to make it go behind the player because the player is Z order 2. And what I'm going, going to do <coughs> is I'm just going to make the player a global object. So here you can see set as a global object. I'm going to click on that, click OK, and now he's a global object. And now if I go into here, you'll see that the character uh, that, that the player is now in here, and we can drag and drop him in here. And uh, what a global object does is it makes it so that the object can uh, be used in every scene uh, without you having to uh, make it again. <coughs> So sorry about these these Discord things. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make the grass a global object as well. I'm going to click OK with that. And you may see this for tiled objects. If you do, you just want to go onto here, Edit Objects, and then click on Apply, and it should go back. Now you see that the play is gone. Well, this might work. I'm not. Yeah, th there you go. You just want to do that. So uh, it is a little bit buggy, but should work fine. So now if we go to inside, uh, you want to go on that and then click on close to make it appear. Uh, you'll see that player and grass are both there. So uh, how do you get the player and all of his events to uh, when touching the door to go in this and also be able to move the player around in this scene as well? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show the grid. I'm going to drag and drop this in here. I'm just going to bring it over. Just like this. So, now here you see that we just have the floor. If we drag and drop the player in, like this, you'll see that we can move him, but he doesn't have any of his um, events with him. And that's because uh, these events are only in the... Uh, only tied to this scene and so what we need is something called external events go ahead and uh, click on that and then click on uh, click to add external events so we're going to make a new event I'm just going to rename this player because this is for the player movement or the animations or anything tied to the player we're going to click on it and now we're going to choose the scene to uh, which these will be included into this is just something, I'm not sure. So I'm just going to click on outside because that's where um, that's where these um, events started from. I'm going to click on choose and I'm just going to make a new one here. So I'm just going to select this, copy it, paste it in here. Select this, copy it, paste it in here. And then finally select this, copy it, paste it in here. So now I can get rid of all of these it crashed on me GDevelop just crashed oh dear that's not good that's not good at all okay so thankfully I saved it make sure you save it a bunch as well so uh, I haven't made these global objects because I didn't save it on that part, so I'm just going to quickly do this. Okay, so now they're global objects. I'm just going to make that back. There we go. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, I'm just going to place this down. Let's show the grid. Put that there. And put the play there as well. So, uh, <clears throat> As I said, make a new event, rename it, call it player because it's tied to the player. 
So, I'm just going to choose the scene. I'm going to be outside. And I'm just going to copy and paste. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. So, now these, I'm just going to delete these. Okay, so, you'll see now that our player doesn't have any events tied to it. And so, to fix that, our player's gone again. <laughs> and so, to fix that, we want to make a link so that we can link from this scene to this um, external event. So, we want to click on this, click on link and type in the name of the external event ours is called player and I click on it and now if we play it there we go our player has all of the um, events from this external event <clears throat> so what if you wanted to uh, make the player go from one scene to another well that's quite easy you just want to make a new condition you want to do collision I'm just going to type in here there we go collision so if the player is in collision with door, then change the scene. And I want to do this to inside because that's what the name of my scene is. Let's just check that to make sure it is. Yes, it is. So now, whenever my uh, player goes into the door and hits it, bang. But you'll see now, oh no, he has no events attached to him. How do we fix this? Well, inside this, you want to click on this, make a link and make a link to this um, external event. If I save this now, if we go into here and play the outside scene here, and I go into here, bang. Our player now has all of the, um, all of its events with just one line of, with just um, one event and not all of these. And so you, and so you don't need to keep on uh, copying, pasting, all of this stuff for every scene you can just put it in an external event and then link it to the scene events that you want and it's as easy as that that's that's how easy it is and that's how you can change scene and make the player go from one scene to another uh, whilst keeping all of its events so thanks for watching uh, sorry for the minor uh, break there I guess um, I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Goodbye.